Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanti subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Niji Fest is out. Niji Fest is going to be happening. Uh, it is assumed to be happening. I don't know exactly when it has been announced according to uh, what this is saying for 2025. And um, the only people that right now they are advertising, again, according to this post, is Rosami and Maria Marinette for at least the uh, the EN side. Of course, JP presence is going to be strong because it is a JP based fest, just like Hollow Fest was a JP based fest. But of course, Hollow Fest has they the Hollow Life does it a bit differently from what I've seen. Just from what I've seen, they do it a bit differently in the sense that they they make it so that their EN also is introduced to their JP side, uh, and a lot of people from EN and Kagai Nikis as they're called go in the west go to hollow fest because they're supporting not only their jp uh oshis but their uh, en kami oshis or jp kami oshis whichever one it may be they're of course going to support the people that have made their lives happier have made their lives more complete have made them have more fun all that type of stuff and that's why i always say when it comes to niji sanji when it comes to the organization you can dislike them. But if you have someone in the organization, whether it be Rosami, Maria, you know, anyone from the JP side, like, you know, Hakum and Tembara Salome, anybody from the JP side, anybody from the EN side, ID who's still around, Hanamachia, people like that, go and support them. If you want to support them, you're free to support them. If you're in my community and you support them, I will not ever mock you. I will not ever be like, why the hell are you doing this? Because a Kami Oshi and an Oshi is a very personal thing. And I always support people doing things that they love and doing things that they appreciate for their Oshis. I have a lot of Oshis. I have Oshis in Hololive. I have Oshis in other places and like in independent Oshis, things like that. And if, uh, you know, Hololive went bad, I wouldn't stop supporting my Oshi. Just knowing myself, I would stop supporting the organization. Like I wouldn't do super chats and stuff like that, but I would support my Oshi with whatever I could because that's what happens when you're a fan. Now let's see what these opinions down here are saying. Of course, these are all opinions. And these are opinions of people who happen to not like Niji Sanji. So let's see what they're saying. A lot of them to assume they'll still have a separate EN branch in 2025. I mean, whether or not they have an EN branch in 2025, they're still going to have their EN talents in 2025. Is that's what my assumption is, at least from the video tweets on Twitter. I also find it interesting that the EN logo is kind of tiny. Uh, and has more compact description. So they, they, let's see what they have to say here, what, they, what they're showing. This is their um, their video. I'm not going to do the audio because the audio might be copywritten. So here's their, their 2025 thing. They're, of course, showing things from 2024 because their 2025 doesn't exist yet. So they're showing things from 2024, Fest 2025. A lot of people are going to be excited about it. I don't knock anyone for being excited about this. It's 221 to the 23rd. So it's the, uh, it is going to be February 21st to the 23rd, you know, be there, all that kind of stuff that's popping up, you know, guys, girls, they're all going to be there. Everyone from Nidhi Sanji, pretty much a lot of people from Nidhi Sanji. And let's see the translated version of this. The translated post says event period Friday, February 21st to Sunday, February 23rd, the Eve and after party will be held on separate days. Venue ticket sales will be announced at a later date. The event is scheduled to take place in the Tokyo metropolitan area, so be ready to go to Tokyo, pretty much. Stay tuned for further updates on Niji Fest, the biggest event in Niji Sanji history. It's going to be the biggest event. It's going to be the biggest event. Of course it's going to be the biggest event, because that is, you know, their event. Um, so yeah, I want to show everything. I want to show as much as I can. Here is their 7th anniversary fest that they're showing, you know, all the things that are, that are happening. And Niji Sanji EN looks a little bit smaller, according to what these people are saying here. It says here... To celebrate the 7th anniversary of Niji Sanji project in 2025, we will hold Niji Sanji's 7th anniversary on February 21st. Oh, so it's their 7th anniversary of Niji Sanji project. They did in 2018. Uh, first held in Makuhari Mess in October 2022. It was also held in Tokyo Big Site in 2023. Over 160 people from our company participated in it. Uh, last Niji Sanji in 2023, there were a total of 24 stages. So they're trying to pump it up. Uh, they're saying various attractions, including participation measures and exhibition corners, live performances. During the event, more than 65K fans came in there. Again, this is for investors more than likely trying to show that they can indeed have a big festival. They can indeed 
have a large showing of people. This is for investors for the most part. The festival will be, be presented to, by everyone, such as livers and staff. We powered up and will be held on 2025. And uh, same thing, after party stage held in February 2020, February 24, 2025. Um, and have fun together next year. Event title, 7th anniversary festival, the period, time that be announced. Nidhi Sanji Yen about them, all the stuff there, about any color, all their points there. Contact form, uh, the Nidhi Sanji Yen just looks tinier than the other ones. That could just be because it has EN at the end, so they have to fit it within a certain part. So I'm not going to go and say it's because they don't like EN. Like some people in the comments here are saying, uh, that's just opinion more than anything. I think it's just possibly just the way that they have everything here. Nidhi Sanji has brush ups. Everybody has brush ups. Hollow Life has brush ups where they actually do uh, look and try to change up the look of some of their talents. Turn out the rich and vivid expressions in their live streams. They print a brush up of these two talents, Kunai Nas Nakasato and Nozomi. They're both getting brush ups, which is fine. I don't know exactly how they choose to do the brush ups. Let's take a look at what they have here. What people are saying, rushed. Hello, Kunai, we're going to blow up. Miss Rat and Miss Welcome to the Underground. Let's go. Congrats, Kunai. So it's love, which is good. It's, they deserve love. The people who are working as the VTubers deserve love. And of course, they deserve this probably a long time ago, but 3.0 brush ups are a thing. I know uh, Hollow Life, a lot of them got their 3.0 brush ups, I think months ago by this point. So it's not necessarily that, that Nidhi Sandy's taking forever. It's just they each have their schedules, of course. They're each going to have their schedules. It's all luck based. The livers have to apply to be in the raffle. They pick two to three livers out of the raffle to get the brush up. This is an opinion. There is nothing to back this up. There is zero to back this up, so I don't even know if it's true. The reason that some older livers have gotten it's likely because they didn't even apply for the brush up in the first place. It's, I'm assuming inside there, they probably have some metrics to decide which ones get the brush ups. The ones where maybe, this is again, another rat in opinion, maybe people who are going to possibly get more views in the brush ups are going to get the brush ups. You know, um, it could even be again, another rat that the people who are putting in the graduation queue in order for them to stay, they could get the brush ups could be anything. <clears throat> it could be random. It could be that they've been told six months ago or a year ago, you're on this position to get the brush ups. These are all the brush ups that are going to happen in 2024. This is your position. These are the months that the brush ups are going to happen. It could be very well organized or it could just be random. We don't know. I can't remember where I heard seen it from, but they would have to apply for it in a raffle system, randomly selected. Again, if they can't remember where they saw it, it's all an opinion. Some livers seem never to get it because they never applied for it. That's just, again, opinions. Happy Akunai, one of the most recent members of Niji, will be able to get a brush up this early. But it made me think, why does newer gen get a brush up? They should have those texts from start. The brush up is about dusting old models. Exactly. That's what's the weird thing about a new person getting a brush up. Again, opinion is that all the people that were getting brush ups originally in hollow life were the older generations first and then they started moving to newer generations they moved from like you know hachama and all of them getting some brush ups and like uh aqua you know shion uh pekora uh marine all the old all the people who were earlier generations getting their 3.0 brush ups because you know in the app they had all these new things that they could do on the hollow live 3d uh, uh hollow live um live 2d they had everything that they can do. So it seems very strange, very random, uh, very weird that a new one would be getting it. That's just the thing that I'm thinking right here. Of course, I'm not in Niti Sanji, so I have no clue how it runs. And anyone who says that they know exactly how it runs and is not in Niti Sanji, it's just making stuff up pretty much. The other day I talked about Nexus. It's the one that is doing all this crazy stuff uh, with their 27 talents that are, um, you know, being uh, shown being uh, put out there. I'm, I'm showing you the 27 talents uh, thing. They're all debuting today from 5 30 p.m. PST my time to 9 30 p.m. Nine each day for three days straight. Now, of course, people didn't like this. A lot of people here didn't like this and uh, brought that wave truly, you know, a lot of people didn't like this and neither did the agency CEO Harry Nexus CEO. You are the person who is the biggest PR person of the company. This should not be happening from the CEO. You should have your PR people deal with this. Again, opinion of mine, have your PR people deal with this and do not directly aggravate the people who don't like it. People are not saying nasty things about your company. They're actually saying something that's true, which is 27 talents in three days, nine talents a day is not going to help you at all. It really will not. P 
people are going to have issues with you if you start doing what he's doing right now, which is what is shown here. Uh, which was yesterday at 5.19 p.m. I will poke at all the people who want to criticize Nexus just because you see the number of talents on a new platform. You'll never know what we're working on, and I won't forgive people who just want to be a blocker of industry growth. We're not blocking industry growth, man. What we're saying is that you're not giving your talents the, the right stuff to work with. You're not giving them a fair shake. You think you might be, but you're not giving them a fair shake. You're making them compete with each other on a tiny app that is not going to be something big at least not yet it is a tiny app that is still in freaking beta right now it's not even in in out out there like on the app store or on uh, google play or any of that kind of stuff so you're making them compete not on youtube which would be bad enough but you're making them compete on a platform that is small again he says let's go getting criticism is a good sign we're doing a new thing basic people can't understand our true battle starts here again calling people basic not a good move my guy here's another one that we're going to take a look at right here let's take a closer look 27 debuts across three days on an obscure proprietary app that requires you to sign up for it by filling out a google doc form i see much better business plans fail horribly yes even vstream i think was a better business plan i think it didn't do too well or it's not doing too well what's your business plan you'll never know what we're up to uh, it says do you want a serious fly an or on, on, on the fly answer I'm going to take a few tweets. Hi, I should launch the existing platform. Honestly, YouTube or Twitch, very smart. As a proper group with few enough streamers that people might actually remember them all. Setting up the first wave collabs six max. Two, if you want the, a hook to stand out, focus vertical streaming is a plus, but a look at accessibility isn't a good one. Uh, but find something original, it's actually positive. Three, battle royale style environment. You're rumored to be doing, if true, will dr drastically discourage future applicants and bring bad PR, which is another disadvantage of to your model. Again, start with a reasonable amount. It says, thank you for your amazing point, uh, plan. Good luck with your business. Again, he puts your business. Uh, this guy doesn't know how to do PR. He really doesn't. I think not losing money would make mine win by default, to be honest. Uh, please allow me to apologize for how I reacted in this thread. What you said is some very fair and valid points. We are trying something different with a new platform. I guess he saw the, the truth or maybe his PR people finally told him, dude, you have to stop this. You really have to stop this. Someone at some point probably told him, dude, you have to stop this. You have to apologize. We are trying something different with a new platform and hope to build a positive environment with unique opportunities for all our talents. My actions were unprofessional and I sincerely apologize for my messages. I hope you will support our talents despite this as they all worked extremely hard for this. Thank you. Yes, yeah, someone in PR told him, dude, stop. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Uh, and he says here, Glad's criticism from a dummy account with zero followers. And then again, he apologized. Uh, same thing. Thank you. He, it's, it's a bowler plate apology. Um, our goal has always been to be help our talents to be successful. I just didn't want a negative impression of our talents as they worked very hard and long to make this happen. Oh, it's not border plate. He actually changed it this time. Howard, this, this does not justify what I said. I'd appreciate it if you could accept my apology and I hope you would still consider supporting our talents. So that's good as I would love to see what they, I would love you to see what they worked on. And here's one thing that they put here, a little battle royale. Please understand that while we provide an environment for talents to autonomously utilize, we su with sufficient support systems in place, individualized support for each person will be less. So it's pretty much like an Niji Sanji approach from what this reads. Consider the analogy of universities or high schools. Services aren't equal for all. More diligent students often receive more attention and support from teachers, while those who neglect their studies and attendance will not, might not graduate. So it's a meritocracy, which is okay. Meritocracies are okay, but they're just outing and saying they're not going to support everybody. Uh, while equal opportunities for learning are provided, leveraging them depends on the student's initiative. Similarly, at Nexus, we actively support those who demonstrate high level of engagement and ambition. If you want to call this a favoritism, it might be a true in a sense, but please understand that we will do it more systematically. Uh, and it says specifically, we're establishing a system that rewards talents who achieve good results in various Nexus events and competitions. We aim to create a community where the competitive environment and transparency benefits those who excel. It's a meritocracy. You can understand that. But sometimes people don't succeed not because of what they're doing, not because of exactly, you know, oh, they're not doing so well because they're not trying hard. It's not that. Some people can be trying their hardest, can be doing their best, but they're one view. They maybe have 10 followers, but they're doing some really good stuff. But it's either the algorithm or in this case, a tiny platform or things like that that make it so that it doesn't show in the numbers. You know, they're, they may have a very dedicated following too, but it's not showing in the numbers because numbers sometimes can lie. Numbers can be skewed. All these things can happen. And I feel bad for the talents because they may not get the benefit of a good agency. So even if we ignore the dumbass marketing, 
they just bet PR. Imagine CEO telling people he's going to harass them. Even Riku isn't that dumb. Yeah, like a lot of people aren't that dumb. All 27 talents are going to have a very bad time. And it might be a mass graduation, and I don't want that. I honestly don't want mass graduations. I honestly don't. Because these 27 talents are trying their hardest. They went into this agency because maybe they thought an agency was going to help them out. Maybe they thought an agency was going to bring them something great. But right now, the agency is failing them even on the most basic points. You do not do mass introductions like this. No successful agency has ever done a mass introduction like this. At most, you do five or six max at a time, and you do it with about six months or so of separation, or several months of separation, at least three to six months of separation between the talent, uh, you know, showings between the talents, uh, you know, their, their waves or whatever it may be, in order to make sure that the audience the people out there have a chance to grow with them, to enjoy them. He sees a perfect portrait of before taking PR, talking to a PR consultant, and after talking to the PR consultant. Absolutely. The Nexus page, Nexus is, site is accurate. The grown ass man is 27. At the youngest, this is, of course, an opinion. Someone doesn't like him, of course. People aren't going to like what he's saying. Uh, to be Last picture, the plan to make a VTuber battle royale. It's not nice. Uh, I said, to be honest, I thought it would happen. A VTuber agency in the past will make a new agencies from their mistake. At least they know what to do and what not to do. But looking at this agency, I really baffled on how they act like doubling down with the mistake and other agencies have made. Just hope that the talent will not get S on in the company. But after reading the statement from last picture, really not sure how to react to it. It's not good. I don't like it. I'll just leave it at that. I really don't like the way that they're doing this for the talents. It's not good for the talents themselves. It's not going to be good for the talents themselves. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Quick little Doki break here. It's a quicken, a quicken for all y'all. Uh, Doki's farming W's. Thank you, Bandai Namco, for popping by Sandland. They reached out to me and wanted to send me a collector's edition too and support for any future Bandai game. Wanted to check it out. Really, thank you so much. Bandai Namco Entertainment. Doki loot assimilate. Let's see the actual thingamadoops here. Thanks for playing Sandland. Doki loot assimilate. Hey, everyone, enjoy this masterclass in gaming from Doki. Hope you enjoy Sandland. She's getting the W's. She's getting the W's. It's epic. She's absolutely getting the W's. This is very good for her. Because I think a lot of these organizations, Bandai and other ones, wanted to work with Selene when she was Selene in uh, Nidhi Sanji. But you know, Nidhi Sanji has favorites. Nidhi Sanji, well, it's assumed, it's alleged that they have favorites. It's a rat that they have favorites. It's a rat that there's a click, and the click chooses who has things that happen. Of course, this isn't a rat narrative, whatever you want to call it. It's not true as, until it's actually proven with actual evidence. It's just what everyone has accepted at this point. Everyone in the community seems to have accepted already that there is favoritism inside of Nidhi Sanji. The only proof we have is that some people have had their uh, dreams kind of crushed, their things that they want, their collaborations that they want crushed, at least it seems like from what they've said. So that shows that there might be favoritism in there. First Sonic team, now Bandai Namco. Doki's on the talk of the town. Yeah, they, they, they want to support someone like this. They do. They probably wanted to support her, like I said, when she was Selene. But now that she's Doki Bird and doesn't have the company saying no, she can do it. Niji Talent said, right, Doki thriving, Niji seething. Doki might have a rough start of the year, but she's bringing W's left and right. Happy to see her winning. Uh, she was gaslit to believe that she's not marketable. Yeah, she thought she wasn't marketable. A lot of people thought they weren't marketable. I'm pretty sure I, I, I remember Doki saying the same thing. I mean, Doki and Mint, Mint saying the same thing. That she thought she wasn't marketable. A lot of people thought they weren't marketable in Niji Sanji. Probably because they kept getting rejected. I mean, that's my assumption. That's my opinion. But, you know, it could very well be that. Funny thing about Niji looking for a girl who could beat Gura when the actual girl might actually have been Selene. And yeah, they knocked her down for that, I guess. It's just the company that Sanji has been doing weird things and it's going to continue doing weird things. And I just really don't understand why. What happened to the sisters? Why didn't he support favorite company? And let's take a look at what's going on here. We have the standees are out now for um, the recent things for Virtual Rhapsody uh, live on 427. So it is actually going to be happening as of recording this tomorrow. Uh, Suntech Singapore. All, pretty much all their stuff is still available. The meet and greets, which is good for people who want to see the meet and greets. Not everything has to sell out. Let's just be honest here. Let's be my opinion. Not everything has to sell out, but it's interesting that uh, the Hololive things tend to sell out almost immediately or sell out at least before the event happens. And, uh, you know, most of the meet and greets that I've seen at Anime Expo, etc., they usually sell out. And this one hasn't. Honestly, the worst type in VTubing, worse than Needy Sisters, mind you. Uh, they're the type to side with the strongest at the time and switch to new shiny toy whenever they need to in order to push their agenda. Uh, the person that they're trying to talk about here is Ducky. Ducky is uh, apparently this opinion of this person is a flip flopper the person who switches sides very quickly. Again, opinions only. Wake up from his best performance in VTubing, Fever Dream. Any colors check bounced. Um, 
people like him are jump to what's big, what's happening right now, then move on to the next thing. They are going to be doing that, of course. Clout Chasers versus the Needy Sisters. Side with the winner, right? These Needy Sisters consistent and loyal to Niji even when they're world-class mentor gymnastics. This guy and a lot of others always jump ship the moment they realize they're in the losing side. And that could be a thing. That could definitely be something that, that's going on there. But let's look at what's happening with the actual uh, convention stuff. Uh, some of the things are sold out, like the uh, Anna Alouette sold out. Anna and her fans are going to be looking for her and going to be enjoying her, which is fine. Meeting greet for Millie, not selling out. Finana, not selling out. And Lyra, not selling out. As of two hours ago, when this person checked. Could be that they sold out now. Don't know. But we'll see. Three out of the four girls participating have yet to sell out their meet and greet tickets. Um... Neither venue tickets are sold out, by the way. So this is also as well. None of the tickets, according to this person as well, which is uh, two hours ago. As of two hours ago, nothing has been sold out. And this is what's been going on here. The prices are pretty high. So I do understand why they wouldn't be sold out. It's not necessarily saying anything bad about the company. Not necessarily saying anything bad around there. But it is definitely something that you want to look at. Due to great demand, we decided to extend. Yeah, they do decide to extend on this whole area here. Uh, I don't understand why they would want to extend. They probably wanted to create, I mean, usually, just opinion here, uh, creating false um, false scarcity is, is what helps sell things, not trying to make it so that you can buy more and more and more. But that's just, again, the way I see it from a person who is not trained in anything related to business, not trained in anything related to uh PR or publishing or, you know, uh, advertising or anything like that, I could be totally wrong. Let me know if I am. In a post regarding uh, how people, how uh, Yago got Fuamoko, it was just through pure luck pretty much that they got in from what I was able to see. They have now, that is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.